Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, join me, Hawaiian Shirt Papa, as we tour the Value Village in Waterdown, which is a portion of Hamilton, Ontario. Here we're going to go, we start off to the right. In this case, we went to the books first, so you have a good, good view. Um, the store was actually quite busy when we were there. And here we are we're going through the books. Those are the prices. They are their prices are based on what the books originally sold for. If they don't find one, then they do a make up made up price. Um, occasionally, some stores will have higher priced ones. Uh, this one has some more what they deem to be more of a, a collectible item. They're at the front showcase in one of the cabinets there. I did find some Hawaiian shirt kind of thing. They weren't necessarily truly Hawaiian shirts, but they were uh, mass market man manufactured. Some other ones. This is more probably as a uh, uh, business attire if it was there. Same with this. Um, I don't think they were. Hawaiian, but they were of that style. Uh, sometimes you'll find that the Caribbean folks have got them. Tie-dye kind of fits into that too, doesn't it? Yeah, then we get into some of the uh, stationary goods, office goods, small pick frames. There's a tourist African statue down below. Uh, interesting little Carved up box, two books. Nice little chest of drawers for your jewelry. They, were, they use some really nice looking wood there. Um, typically, uh, these little boxes are either they come from a variety of parts of the world. One period place is from the South American, Central American, but there's also from Eastern Europe in the past. Oh yes, that was the uh, tourist African, could be from somewhere else, statue. It's a little pricey in my opinion. And here we are. The usual collection of plates and glassware and glasses and serving pieces. We're going to see a few aisles of that. A little statuary. Some of it's bagged up. You can get a whole collection. Sometimes you have to you want a lot of plates, you're gonna to have to do some mixing and matching or visit an, another store that has one entire one that you're satisfied with. Came back to it a couple of times. It was really intriguing me. Oh yes, the overpriced cast iron fry pan, $25. Holy smoke. Not long ago, I got them for between five and $10. There's another one of those. And that one may have been a bit older because of the ring around the edge. And this one's definitely a bit older. That's got a one of the brand names of its era. Yes, there's some Pyrex as well. 
There's some blue corn flour in that last bit there. The end caps have got things that they're nicely focusing on. Sometimes they don't make any sense. Sometimes they make fantastic sense. This was an interesting light pinkish orangey color. I can't remember offhand. The wear didn't have the wear marks that you would expect for its age. Light fixtures, suitcases, even a 32 inch TV. They've been around long enough to start showing up. All the tube types have disappeared. Fabrics, notions, knitting, handbags. It looked interesting. Couldn't find any particular distinguishing brand name on it. So, considering what they wanted for it, and that one had a condition issue, if, even if it had a brand. Most of the time, these, the ones that are in here, they have condition issues, wear, heavy wear in some cases, it's significantly dirty on the inside. And the costume jewelry is where the dressing change rooms were. And then we get into the glass cases where they've put some of their more precious objects instead of just out on the floor. Some of it's glassware, some of it's statuary. It varies. Oh, the old skates, those were intriguing. Those are the collection of books that they had placed there. And the jewelry that they've got. Even the knife sets, that's probably a good thing to keep some knife sets back there. <laughs> Never know what kind of person walks in. Although this one's way out of the way for anyone who, who's uh, less, less well off, dramatically badly off, would not generally get to this area. Anyway, we're getting close to the end of this video. And the last tail bit here is along one of the walls. So I hope you'll consider subscribing, checking off the bell button, and uh, putting in a like for us. We appreciate all of those actions so that you can continue getting more and more of these. There's quite a collection already built up at this point. And uh, I sure hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye-bye.